the news starts now. Bleak economic news is everywhere. Layoffs keep coming, so our families are cutting back on spending. So why would a Minnesota man start a business in the middle of a steep recession? As Frank Vassalero discovered, when you don't grow up in this country, well, the American dream is always alive and well. With all the choices, really standing out in the liquor store cooler is difficult. Big companies spend millions trying to come up with the right packaging and marketing plan to entice you to buy. So how can the little guy compete? How can you be different? Doing the same thing as everybody else as a small company is dumb. You have to be distinctive. Joe Heron is the founder of Crispin, a beverage he calls a super premium hard apple cider. He figured putting a photo of another bottle on another page like most everyone else in the alcoholic beverage industry was a waste of time and money. So he developed the Crispin theme, have an adventure over ice. So the relationship with ice is central to the idea. And then making it seem more adventurous and worth taking. Ciders are a hybrid between beer and wine. Joe created this one to be crisp, not sweet, made with fresh apple juice and no concentrate. A light went off in Joe's head about a year ago when a friend told him that in Europe, people are now drinking hard cider over ice. But as Joe says, ideas are like t-shirts. Everyone has one. You have to have the guts to take the next step, even when the economy is tanking. Not having the fear to actually start these things is a, is, is, is a, is a big part of um, uh, starting businesses. Growing up with nothing in South Africa made Joe appreciate this land of opportunity, which he thinks many Americans take for granted. He says you don't have to be super rich or super smart to start a business. You just have to be willing to try. This is America. Huh? This is the big idea. This is the land of big ideas. Heron had no background in consumer products. He came to this country about eight years ago after being transferred by a pharmaceutical company. He flew a lot for business and would often get sick. His camera-shy wife, Leslie, had an idea. Why not make a healthy soda containing high-quality nutrients for frequent travelers? They quit their jobs in 2003 and launched Nutrisoda. The Herons believe living in the Twin Cities helped the product succeed. They say this is the best community in the world when it comes to support and advice from other business people. I love it. It's terrific. Really refreshing. Kiernan Foliard understands. He came from Ireland 21 years ago. He carries Crispin at his restaurant, The Local. Foliard says this is a very supportive business community. And when you grow up in another country, you look at things differently. Even the perception of the current recession isn't so gloomy. Clearly it is a, a very difficult time, but still, I can guarantee in five years' time, there'll be people looking back and saying, wow, wasn't that a great opportunity that came along five years ago. Foliard already predicts Crispin will be a big hit just because of the repeat business he sees at his pub. And it appears to be doing well at the liquor store as well. This is just fine off the shelf. People, you know, Joe just knows how to promote it, that's all. It's really smooth. It uh, has a very nice finish. They suggest drinking it over ice, which I've done, and I like it both ways. Heron says America has a history of overcoming turmoil through hard work and innovation, and he hopes small business will lead the way out of the current mess. For me, I'd like people to go out and know that they can do this. You know, it doesn't take a special person to start a business. It really doesn't. Frank says the Herons became U.S. citizens last July. They are hosting a winter baseball game to benefit Second Harvest Food Shelf at the end of the month. And guess what it's being billed as? An adventure over ice.